nature's best bobtail. Now, I'm sure that by now you all know Bob, who's become such a big part of our family. And through him and with Karis Bryan, our animal behavior specialist, we've learned a lot about pets, how to take care of them, how to teach them not to bite, to be gentle, all of these good things. But we're going to start having some fun. So for the next six weeks, we're calling all our dog lovers to come closer. We're going to show you how to teach your pet or your doggy to do the best tricks. Right, Karis? Absolutely. And it's, it's, it's a good thing to have fun with your dogs, right? It's fantastic. Teaching dogs tricks is a lovely way. It's a great way to bond with your dog and it's a great way to keep them busy. Winter's coming, it's a little bit less inspiring to take the dogs out for walks I know and giving them tricks to do is a lovely way to entertain their brain inside. Yeah. Now this is what I, I ultimately want to learn. How do you make Bob do the tricks that you do? <laughs> what are we learning today? Okay, so today the trick we're starting with is shake. We're teaching shake. a dog, there he goes, how to give paw. <laughs> Well, I think he heard us say shake and then his paw went down. He's ready. He's like a super keen student. So we're going to teach Bob shake and then next week we're going to teach him how to wave. We're going to build on these tricks. Mm -hmm. right. So to teach a dog to shake, the first thing you need to two things. You need some yummy food. So get some food that your dog is excited about. And what's also very helpful is to get a clicker. And a clicker is a training tool that you can get from any pet shop. And I'm going to explain how to use it now. Okay. So just a quick question that I have. Mm -hmm. If I just have my little doggy at home, I, I don't have to have done any kind of pre-prep work. Nothing. Have bathed him or anything like that. Well, Nothing. If, if he's smelly, you could bath him. You know, it's, it's up to you. But, but you can start from scratch. Any dog. This, these tricks we're doing here are easy tricks. Any dog can do it. Any owner can do it. There's no, you don't need any pre-training. Absolutely. Cool. Okay. Okay, the only trick that the people must do is be patient and have a sense of humor. If while you teach a dog, if you're a bit tense, the dogs are going to be nervous because they're going to think you're angry. So just relax and like Oosa, breathe, Oosa. Ooh, you know, do your yoga first and then train the dog. And then they're, <laughs> then they're much more receptive because you're calm and they will be too. Right. So to teach a dog to shake, put some treats in your hand. So take a... <laughs> Bob. Bob is ready. So you want to have a, quite a few treats in your hand so it smells exciting to the dog. And then what you're going to do is put your hand either on the ground or in the air. And as soon as... Good. What your dog will do is get frustrated because they want to get the treat. Mm -hmm. And they will eventually scratch with their paw to try to get the treat. When that happens, you're going to push your clicker. I'll show you now. We'll just wait. And while they're sniffing like Bob's doing now, because Bob's just learning this trick, good. You just oh, wait. Wow. Now what the click sound does, because the clicker is not your voice, the clicker signals to the dogs exactly what they've done correctly. And it makes it more clear to them about what they actually must do with these treats in your hand, yeah. okay? Because usually we say so many things to congratulate them. Oh, yes. good boy. Mm -hmm. And they don't speak English. Okay, there we go. Good. Wow. Okay, and then you give them the treat, right? Okay. So, oh, chew, it's important so to only chew. once the paw goes up to scratch, you click. Then you what click. can you use as a substitute for a clicker? You can also go, you can make a click sound with your mouth, or you can just say yes. You can also say a short sound. Okay. But whatever, whatever sound you use, it must be the same sound, and it must be consistent so the dog understands what it is you're happy about. Okay, all right. Okay? Now we're letting Bob chew. I'll do one more like this. And now, as they get smoother with this, and they start to understand, just wait. Good. Then the next step is to give it a command. So now, once your dog's pretty consistently doing this, I'm going to say, shake. Good. This is so interesting. <laughs> so that the word happens when the behavior is happening. Okay? Now I'm going to stop now with Bob because when you teach your dogs, especially when you start, until your dog is used to being trained, keep your training lessons very short, can be one minute, can be two minutes, um, kind of quit while you're ahead, quit while the dog's having fun, and then repeat it later in the day. Don't try to do 10 or 15 minutes because I actually get very tired mentally. Yes. And that's the first step to teaching dogs shake. Good boy. <laughs> Bob is shaking hands. I think he's, he's ready to shake hands with the president. Right Absolutely. Now. We're getting him ready one day, one day when he gets there. <laughs> Bob will get you there. Thank you so much, Karis. I really appreciate that. It's a pleasure. And so next week, we're now going to teach dogs how to wave. So first yeah. they must know how to shake, and then we can teach them wave. So people must tune in next week to see how we do a wave. Lovely. Fantastic tips there from Karis. You can, of course, check out our website, expressoshow.com, for all the details. Where's my... Give me my... I'm waving. <laughs> Give me... <laughs> Thanks, guys. Cool. Stay with Espresso and SABC3.